Hey gang, it's Rob from ITMasterKey.com, and we're going to get into another installment of the Get a Damn Job series. So um, we went over several different certifications, and today won't be any different. I'm going to give you a certification and then tell you some of the jobs, some of the gigs that you can look into um, once you're certified. Now, some of the other certifications we talked about could be considered mid or entry to mid-level, entry to mid-level certifications, right? Now, this certification, I would say, is a expert to, yeah, an expert level certification. Um, I wouldn't advise anybody. Now, some of these other ones that we've already discussed, you could possibly go after that as your first certification, but if you go after this damn certification as your first one, mm, the likelihood of you passing is pretty slim. If you take this as your first certification and pass, I'll personally give you a high five. I'm not giving you shit else, but I'll be proud of you. Anyway, um, so the certification we're talking about is the CYSA Plus. So the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. Now, over at Master IT, we're formulating, putting the finishing touches on the course that we're developing for this certification specifically. And we won't even accept you if you don't have Security Plus at a minimum, because I don't want to I don't want to set anybody up for failure because you have to have a solid foundation in networking, solid foundation in security and a solid foundation in implementation of security as well to pass this certification. And they're actually uh, doing beta testing for a newer version of this certification as we speak. Hopefully, they're making it a little bit easier. Okay, so since cybersecurity is in the title, this is a this is a really um, in demand certification. Looks really good on your resume, and some of the things that we talked about before are kind of going to be precursors precursors for this certification. I always harp on, hey man, you gotta have the right network, gotta have the right experience, gotta have the right locale. Now. 99% of the individuals taking this are going to have a good amount of experience or some sort of experience. I wouldn't really recommend, like I said, um, I think of CompTIA suggests that you need to have like five years of experience before you even try and tackle this. So even with that, even if you got the experience, even if you got the certification, still make sure that your resume is up to date, up to snuff. I can get past the resume uh, scanning robots. Uh, make sure that your network is up to par. Make sure that you're in contact and rubbing elbows with the right people. Make sure that you're in a good location, which should be, you know, in every major city, cybersecurity is important, right? Every every major city, you should be able to find a gig, but um, the likelihood of you finding, uh, you know, opportunities or more opportunities are a lot different depending on where you are. And like I said, if you think it's going to take you six months or a year or however long you think the journey is going to take for you to actually get certified, in that time frame, you should figure all that stuff out. You should build up a good network, um, get some mentors, some tutelage. And by the time you get certified, you know exactly where you're trying to go. You're on a lot of people's minds as far as employers. And once you get certified, like, hey, you know, this is um, Jane, this is John, and I've been talking to you on LinkedIn or through email or on Facebook Messenger or in Facebook groups. And you know, I finally, you know, got my COSA plus. And there is there any opportunities? You know, can I come in? What can I do? Right? Just make sure that you're building up that network. So, COSA plus certified job titles, cybersecurity specialist. Threat intelligence or a vulnerability analyst. Now, these are just a few of the job titles you can hold. There is a plethora of job titles. As in all the other series, these are just some that you can just think about because sometimes people don't really know um, if I get this certification, where is it going to land me? So 
if you kind of have a little bit of an idea of, okay, this is the positions I could be looking at, it may either steer you towards a certification or away from a certification, okay? Now, like I said, if you are um, uncertified, the, the, this, is not, this is not for you, right? This is not for you. Uh, you might want to go back and listen to a few episodes back when we're talking about some other certifications, but if you've been in the field for a number of years, got some experience, especially security experience, man, this will look really good on your resume. So Security Plus is not an easy certification. It's a pretty difficult. Um, and this is pretty much Security Plus on steroids, right? So at a minimum, like I said, my guys, um, you got to have at least Security Plus or something that will be equivalent to Security Plus. If that's experience, you know, if you get the five years, we'll let you uh, come through. If you have Security Plus or a uh, certification that's equivalent to that or a higher uh, certification, if you've got ethical, a uh, certified ethical hacker or uh, something like that, we'll let you slide through. But if you just, you know, saw the opportunity and saw, oh, I can make X, Y, Z amount of money, I want to get this certification, nah, we, we're not going to let you come through. But uh, just to reiterate, the job titles we can look for, uh, cybersecurity specialists, uh, threat, threat, that's not a word, threat, intelligence, and vulnerability analysis. All right, gang, so that was um, another segment, another installment of the Get a Jam, Damn Job series. As always, if this podcast has helped you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, share it with two of your buddies. Follow me on I, my damn tongue. Just won't. I keep on. Anyway, <laughs> I keep on stuttering. Uh, follow me on uh, all social media platforms. We're on YouTube. Um, we actually upload these podcast episodes on YouTube as well at Master IT, Master IT TX, Twitter, I.T. Dot underscore master for our Instagram fans, TikTok, IT Master Key. We got the Facebook study group. And other than that, I will see you guys in class.